Hi, so at the risk of sounding a bit vampirish, I'm going to talk about convalescent therapy today, which is essentially drawing the blood of people who've recovered from coronavirus disease and using that to treat people who are still sick. So a small study from China has found, and this was like 10 patients who were 34 to 78 years old, uh, and they were infused with just about 200 ml of plasma from people who had recovered and had a very strong immune reaction to the disease. So um, uh, the study found that just within three days of the plasma being infused, there was a reduction in symptoms. Uh, so the fever went down, uh, cough went down, breathlessness went down, and there was a reduction in chest pain. And within a week, they found that lesions in the lungs that were showed, showing up in CT, chest CT scans earlier uh, were, had started going down, which showed that the lung infection was also improving. So the study was published uh, on Tuesday morning uh, in the proceedings of uh, the National Academy of Sciences of the United States. And in fact, they published the study without an embargo because they said the, the findings were just so vital to control the spread of coronavirus disease, which has already infected about 1.3 million people and killed so many more. So how does this uh, convalescent therapy work? Well, it's not a new notion because it's been used for over a century, even during the Spanish flu in 1918, they used it in a, in a, and, and they actually found that the use of the therapy reduced uh, deaths uh, from the Spanish flu by up to 21%. And this, uh, these findings were published in The Lancet a few years ago after they did a meta-analysis of hospital records from the Spanish flu uh, during uh, uh, 1918. So how it works is that uh, antibodies, which are proteins that our uh, body produces to fight any infection, whether it's virus or uh, bacteria or, or a parasite, the way antibody therapy works is fairly simple. When we get infected, our bodies mount an immune response and produce uh, antibodies uh, and our blood gets flooded with these antibodies which, pr pr which, which cover our cells and protect, uh, protect, the, protect them from the pathogen uh, which tries to enter them to multiply. So viruses essentially need to enter human cells to multiply because they can't survive on their own and that's how they infect the body. So when antibody rich blood from recovered patients is given to people who are still sick, it helps their body mount an immune response and it helps them recover and protects them from severe, severe disease. So of course, we still need large randomized trials. This is still what they call an experimental therapy. But uh, early signs, early results show that, that uh, there is hope. It has helped patients recover until we have a new vaccine or a new therapy to treat coronavirus disease. We have to clutch at straws and save as many li lives as possible.